13th floor. This is Hotel Banat. They're preparing to. Master, this, this I think is the most premium room in terms of view. It's a three-person apartment. This hotel was built in uh, 1972, 1971, from the state directive, like systematization of the seaside make it available for Romanian tourists, also foreign tourists. Here I have like a uh, little brochure of this architect, Cesar Lazarescu. He was chief in constructing and systematizing this seaside. And here we have also these hotels. Now I'm trying to mimic this guy with the bank and bankrupt. It's like a tribute of what he's doing, of course. I do not have his way of talking, although Yagavariu Paruski, chuchut. And I'm I'm curious, it's like an experiment. So this was when they were uh, given to the public. It was a little van here. This, these were the restaurants. Now, the restaurant was something like over there, the one in the picture, but now they're renovating this hotel. It will belong to uh, uh, the state. It's still state owned. And it will be for the people who work in security, like state security, secret services, and something like this. But uh, as you can see, the room is a masterpiece of architecture because this guy, Cesar Lazarescu, said here in this brochure uh, that. They have to give to the people the possibility to feel intimate, to enjoy uh, the medium, and to feel well, to receive like a state of optimism through the shapes in here, like architecture. And you can see. Even the bathroom is like before. It's absolutely lovely. This mosaic, you have like a bathtub and the sink and everything. Oh my God, it's... Communism made the good stuff. And then here we have like an apartment this is an apartment. The rooms uh, here, come over the little table. And here, before it was a camping site, and now they are building like luxury apartments. And here was the restaurant of the hotel. It's closed now. In there, it's like another uh, hotel. It's a new hotel, Black City Resort. The rooms are kind of small, but it's said to be luxury because of how the furniture and the floor and everything. And here, there, there's like a kerhana, you can eat fish, and it's like really crowded and a bit expensive, but though good quality. <laughs> and people in here are like really nice. They let me do my video in between. <laughs> Here are the 
elevators, they are like old. Another room, another perspective. Here it's another state-owned hotel like this one. Only people who work for the state, like internal security can be here. There is like a new ensemble of buildings. That hotel is abandoned. And that one is renovated. Private palm resort. Now something interesting. Like in here, it is a terrace. It is a hidden terrace on the hotel 14. Floor. Well, the view is spectacular. Nature, it's here, see? This is alive, it's a plant. And in here, it was like a former bar. Uh, it's sad that in, in this hotel there were mostly foreign tourists, especially at the beginning, in the 70s and early 80s. Um, it was perceived in the international world as a really stylish and good hotel. But they didn't invest that much in it anymore. So in the 80s, it decreased. It, um, people who search for it decreased. And I can also go outside a bit. It's probably windy. It's a bit decayed. Probably it's a bit dangerous, but not that much. Though the view and the freedom I can have it here in this uh, still functional communist architecture the sea today is like really agitated and yes now I'm doing like an experiment as I said I don't know if I'm that good in expressing things fluently with a good vocabulary but at least the images. Of course, I am not bank uh, bold and bankrupt. <laughs> I'm just a regular Romanian person uh, searching for these shapes, like old architecture, this communist legacy, systematic, like making it systematic, um, trying to blend architecture with the medium, like the nature, as you can see in here, it was a forest with the sea to create this perspective for tourists and also for the workers to make it functional, to make it beautiful. Uh, of course, uh, judging it was the communist regime, no one, not like the regular people, they had no access here. You have to be like high in this communist nomenclatura in order to get something like this, or of course a foreign tourist. I read an article, it said that in the 70s, shortly after they released this to the public and in the international market, it was perceived like Eastern Europe, Nice, Nice, Cannes, so, I don't know, it might be just a legend, it might be not true, but I can't verify it. Nearly a disaster. So I hope people will also come and enjoy this hotel. It's like really cheap, really cheap, and the rooms are clean and, as you have seen, sunny, sunny, and with a spectacular paysage. So this is a little piece of Romania, communist inherited architecture, seaside architecture. It's a lovely thing. Maybe some foreign hipsters 
will begin to colonize this place, to make this place great again in postmodernist terms. I don't know, I really hope like this bar to be alive again, full of people, oh my God, that would be like superb. <laughs>